Hey guys, this is Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TVInsider.com. I'm here with Lisey Gorenson from The Connors. How are you? I'm good, holding up. Good, good. I like seeing that. Um, so I got an early peek at the finale, which airs on Tuesday, and I know The Connors finales are always great. But let me ask you this first. Was, it, was this the planned finale, or did it kind of get cut short because of the, you know, everybody having to shut down production? I didn't know where you guys were in your production. Yeah, no, it was amazing because we, we wrapped. We had our wrap party, and then it was a week after that that all this really kind of came on. So we were very, very lucky in that way. Okay. Well, where we left off in the episode that aired uh, last Tuesday, Becky thinks maybe she should marry Emilio um, for a lot of different reasons. But talk about that a little bit. Um, and just is that something we'll see play out in the finale? Um, we will definitely see aspects of that in the finale. I think um, Becky has been torn between a lot of things uh, lately. I think... Um, particularly after having the baby. And she's desperate for help and desperate for childcare. And, you know, as we know, she's, back, she's opened the lunchbox again with Jackie. So um, I think she really misses that support. Um, but, you know, Emilio, if you're following the show, was deported. So um, that definitely complicates things. So she, and now she has a relationship with his Tia's his aunts, um, which complicates things even more because, you know, now they have an affinity for the baby and, and it's kind of, you know, very complicated. Always, always with the Connors. Um, and I remember from last year's finale, there was a nice little spark between them that was just kind of starting before he got deported. Do you think there might still be a little something in her heart for him or is, is that gone? You know, I definitely do, um, but I feel like the sad thing about Becky and Emilio is that they never really, nothing happened. Do you know what I mean? I mean, he was kind of uh, just this guy that she was sleeping with, that she was working with. And um, after she got pregnant, that's when she actually kind of got to know him a little bit. Before <laughs> it he happen, it happens like that sometimes. <laughs> he really didn't have like a real relationship, you yeah. know? So um, I think that, I think that she's really torn about it, you know? We know that um, there's a possible foreclosure on the house, which is a big deal because viewers have known that house for a long time now. What, can you tease a little bit what we see with that? I'm guessing there'll be more of that storyline picking back up in the finale. Obviously, that is a big uh, point of shame for Dan. So it's something that he hasn't really kind of embraced. But once the family catch on to it, um, they ra we all rally. But it's, you know, with the Connors, nothing's ever tied with a bow at the no. end. <laughs> no. So um, the struggle will continue. That's, that's what I can tell you. I have to say that's one of the reasons why I always feel like people have watched the original show and watched this show. You see that family that always has come together since the first year, you know, of the show. Um, so it's just a nice consistent thing with this family that I think even right now, I think we need to see that. I agree. I agree. I mean we can lie to ourselves and pretend that none of us struggle and none of us have hardships in life, but you know, the word is out. <laughs> we all do, all of us. And um, the Connors, I think, you know, they've been struggling for a while and it seems like every success they have, there's a new door that swings open and there's a million other problems. Always, you know, definitely always. with Becky, but I'd say for all of them. Um, now that Dan and Louise are together officially, is the family okay with it? Because there definitely was a little, you know, they weren't welcoming her with open arms in the beginning, but do you think that has <laughs> yeah. is evened off a little bit? Yeah, well, I think Jackie was the primary um, suspect and who, who wasn't totally pro-Louise, but yeah. um, I think the rest of the family, I mean, I know Becky has a relationship with her because of work. And um, they're actually, I think, have a pretty good friendship. But um, I, think, I think everyone not only doesn't want Dan to be alone, but they also don't want to be responsible for 
<laughs> as he gets older and and that's definitely a running joke well hopefully um you guys will get back to work for season three pretty soon for the connors fingers crossed i certainly hope so um you know beyond just normal human contact seeing <laughs> my colleagues who i love would be even better so come on dionysus or whatever <laughs> Peter gods. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for chatting with me. You guys watch the Connors. The season finale is Tuesday night, eight o'clock on ABC. Thanks, Lisey. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.